Hi everyone and welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Mirna Gabriel, I'm an indie author and I work as a graphic designer slash illustrator. I don't have many subscribers but for anyone who is wondering what this channel is about exactly and why this video is different from the last three videos and from the ones that I'll be sharing next, I'm going to tell you all about that. So this channel is about the three things that I love doing the most, aka reading, writing and drawing. I like all kinds of books and novels, but this channel is mostly about the classic books that I read. I studied English literature at college and I have a thing for classic novels. I don't review them, the videos are not meant to be a place where I share my opinion about them, what I like and what I don't like. Because they are classics, they are classics for a reason. So I'll be more than happy to share my opinion with you in the comments. About the book are videos that summarize the book and analyze some aspects of it. They are meant for someone who is studying the novel or someone who is just interested in the book in general. I originally started this channel by sharing my work progress on some of the illustrations that I'm working on. And every now and then I might share something like this speed painting video. And since I'm talking throughout this video, I may as well explain what I'm doing. This illustration is meant to be a sticker sheet. This is the first time for me to do a sticker sheet. I usually illustrate for print books like children's picture books. So I'm not very sure if there's something that I need to consider as I'm working. I guess there has to be a white stroke around the shapes. I'm working with Photoshop. I usually draw using paper and pencil. Then I ink the illustration with a black pen, like the one I showed you in the beginning of this video. Then I scan it and start editing the lines on Photoshop, because lines drawn by hand usually have rough edges. Then I start the coloring, either by the paint bucket tool or I set the lines layer to multiply and do the coloring using a brush on a different layer underneath it. Then for simple illustrations like this one, I add shadow and light using the burn and dodge tools. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.